Hey, so I got me a new book. Just got it about an hour ago, so I haven't really gone through it very much. Just a few pages here, beginning. But I'm out here and I thought I'd do a little quick thing on it. So you can pick this up for about 10 bucks on Amazon. If you got a Kindle, it's $8, I think. So not an expensive book, not a whole lot to it. It looks like a pretty quick, easy read, and which is great for people who are like me that really don't do a lot of reading. I do better with videos and stuff, but you know, there's some good information in here, some pretty good ideas. There's a lot of people that rave about the book, say it's really good. So, so far, you know, I'm just getting to the part where we're talking about pellets. We're talking about these things, how they're basically, a, you know, not giving anything away from the book. It's just kind of uh, common knowledge. These things are, are good beginners. Oh man, I'm about to sneeze, hold on. Okay, I got the sneezes passed. So, pellets, they have their, their purpose. They're, they're great for the simple fact that they're easy. They're, uh, you don't have to do any work, but go to the store, buy them, and, and give them to your animals. And it's pretty much a complete feed. Um, these pellets right here are the ones I've been using. I know a lot of people use them. Sometimes I have a hard time getting them at my local tractor supply. And it's the producer's pride um, feed from tractor supply. And and over here I do have a bag. Alright, so you know it says on here da, 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 feed complete feed for growing rabbits four to twelve weeks of age and for maintaining adult rabbits. You know, so Yeah, it works. It's, you know, it's what I've been using. It, it, it does all right. But the thing I don't like about it, and this is going to be the same for most brands, is what's on here. I mean, crude protein, minimum 15%. You know, that's a decent baseline. Um, some people say 16%. In fact, that's what they say in the book. You know, you, sh you should look at 16% as being your base amount. Uh, crude fiber, 15 to 18.5%. Um, okay, you know, but it's the ingredients. Processed grain byproducts, roughage products, forage products. Um, okay. Molasses products, calcium carbonate, grain products, salt. Okay, so grain byproducts. That can be a lot of things. That can be um, whatever's left over from making something else like wheat or, you know, it, it's... Reading that, I, I thought I had another one of these, and it actually had a different list of ingredients, and I actually had alfalfa as one of the main ingredients, but this one doesn't. So it, it could change per batch of uh, whatever, when you're getting it. One batch could have one set of ingredients, but basically the, the base ingredient saying it's Man, grain byproducts. That, that could mean there's corn in here, there could be wheat, there could be barley, there could be all kinds of stuff that's in this. You don't know what that is. Roughage? What's roughage? Um, according to the book, the roughage is probably most likely uh, the hulls, the, the outside of the, the, the shell from a soybean. Um, you know, it's not protein, that's that's just roughage 
kind of help get some fiber, I guess. So, and there's like 37, 38 different ingredients on there. So, I mean, it's a complete feed. It's easy to use, but who knows what is really in this. So, that is why I'm going to that. Now, if you look at my past videos, I have raised rabbits in a more natural way, feeding them grasses and weeds. Um, I've got a neighbor that moved away a few years ago, and I went over to their horse pasture, and it was overgrown with weeds, everything from like prickly lettuce. And my rabbits were thriving on it. You know, I, I just go and eventually I pick something new and, and give it to them. And if they seemed all right, I'd give them more. And I went online and, and tried to get ideas. And that's why I kind of got this book. Uh, there's Urban Backyard Rabbit Project, I think is the name of it. It's a website by a Boyd Craven there, one of the authors of that book. And he's got this little press that he's made where he harvests ingredients and makes these little rabbit cubes. The videos are from like 2014, I think. So they're not up to date. I'd like to see what happened with that. And that's kind of why I got the book to see if there's more information about all of that in the book. But uh, that's one of my ideas is trying to come up with a way to make a little press, make my own little seed cubes. That way I can store them up for winter. Uh, so some people have read some information where people talked about, you know, they're giving their, their rabbits, you know, grains like this. And then a lot of hay and they seem to be thriving on that. Mine, I give them oats and they kind of turn their noses up at it. They'll eat everything but the oats. So, you gotta play around, come up with your own mix, and uh, you know, read what's out there. And I'll, I'll give you an update on what I'm doing. So, talk to you later.